So picture this. A 20 kilometer shadow slips past Venus at 137,000 miles per hour, and its sun-facing side is glowing like the inside of a blast furnace. Avi Loeb, yes, the same Harvard guy who once told us Oumuamua might be a light sail, just dropped another paper. This time he says the glow isn't sunlight dancing on ice or dust. He thinks it's the unmistakable fingerprint of a compact nuclear reactor pushing an interstellar craft. Either we just got the first real hint that we are not alone, or we're staring at the most expensive optical illusion modern astronomy has ever produced. Tonight we're going to walk through both possibilities, one line of evidence at a time, because the clock is ticking louder than any mystery we've ever chased. NASA's Atlas Telescope caught the object on July 1st, 2025. Within hours, the orbit was pinned down as hyperbolic, meaning it's screaming in from interstellar space and will be gone just as fast. Three days later, the Minor Planet Center made it official. 3i slash Atlas, only the third confirmed interstellar visitor after Oumuamua and Borisov. Now, if all the light we're seeing were just reflected sunlight bouncing off a solid surface, we'd be looking at a 20-kilometer monster, 10 Manhattans glued together. But spectra from the European Southern Observatory show none of the usual comet lines. No water, no carbon monoxide, no tail. So what kind of comet forgets to act like one? Comets glow brightest on the hemisphere heated by the sun, and the tail always points away from the star. 3i slash Atlas flips that script. Its brightest patch is on the leading edge, the side plowing straight into the solar wind. The spectrum is too smooth across infrared and visible bands for simple reflected light. Whatever the surface is, it's converting energy into light with almost 80% efficiency. The best lab tests we've done with exotic magnesium silicate coatings managed only a 25% bump in brightness. The numbers just don't line up. Avi Loeb and postdoc Carson Azell have posted a 32-page preprint titled Is 3 I slash Atlas, an artificial nuclear-powered probe. Their case rests on five pillars. One, orbital plane. 98% of known interstellar objects are tilted steeply to the ecliptic. Three, I slash Atlas lies almost perfectly flat, a one in 500 coincidence. Two, close approaches. Trajectory simulations show it skimmed 0.3 astronomical units from Venus, 0.5 astronomical units from Mars, 0.8 astronomical units from Jupiter. Maneuvers that hand out free gravity kicks. Random chance for all three, 0.005%. Third perihelion timing. Closest approach to the sun happened while Earth was on the opposite side. Convenient if you want to dodge the planet with the biggest radio dishes. 4. Forward glow. Loeb calculates a compact nuclear reactor driving a magneto-hydrodynamic engine could emit the observed infrared intensity. 5. Size paradox. Natural objects larger than 10 kilometers should be vanishingly rare among interstellar wanderers. Unless someone built them that big on purpose. Oxford's Chris Lintott called the alien interpretation nonsense on live BBC. His take, probability arguments look shiny only after you already know the orbit. ESA's Marco Michelli points out that Atlas data actually shows faint cyanogen and diatomic carbon, classic comet fingerprints waking up near the sun. Meanwhile, the Zwicky Transient Facility released a time lapse. Brightness increases every 7.4 hours a rotation period common in elongated cometary nuclei. Their bottom line, just another dirty snowball, albeit a whopper. Line the last seven years up beside each other. 2017. Oumuamua accelerates away with no visible jets. 2019. Borisov acts like a textbook comet from another star. 2025. 3. I slash ATLAS refuses to pick a side. Avi Loeb sees a trend. First, a possible light sail. Then, a normal comet. Now, a potential nuclear craft. 
critics see better telescopes and observational biases. The truth is probably hiding in the gap between those viewpoints. If 3i over Atlas is artificial, we have maybe six months before it slingshots past Jupiter and is gone forever. If it's natural, every telescope on or above Earth still owns a once-in-a-lifetime chance to watch a pristine relic from another star evaporate under our sun. James Webb is already booked for 12 hours in mid-August to hunt for heat signatures. The brand new Vera Rubin Observatory will pin down rotation and surface composition. Each observation either chips away at Loeb's grand claim or at the standard comet model. Pause the video and drop your theory in the comments. Probe or primordial iceberg. Vote with a simple P or C, then tell us why. The best answers get pinned. Most astronomers roll their eyes at that paragraph and then scramble to book every available hour of telescope time anyway. The universe is under no obligation to stay quiet. Three tests will decide the debate before New Year. Infrared spectrum. A natural comet should brighten at 3.4 microns due to organics. A reactor will spike at 4.8 microns where hot uranium oxide glows. Acceleration residuals. If the object speeds up or slows down by even a few centimeters per second outside gravitational predictions, that's a thruster at work. Radar echo. Deep space network dishes can bounce a signal off the surface next month. A solid metallic hull returns a sharp ping. A porous, icy nucleus smears the echo across several milliseconds. Expect headlines either way. Every day the object pulls farther from the sun, cooling and dimming. By January 2026, it'll be beyond Jupiter and fainter than Pluto. After that, no human telescope will ever catch it again. The window for an answer is closing faster than any astronomical mystery we've ever chased. Even Loeb's harshest critics admit, quietly, they're rooting for him to be right. A confirmed alien craft rewrites textbooks overnight. A confirmed natural comet still fills a giant hole in our understanding of how planetary systems spit material into the void. So here we are, staring at two possible tomorrows. In one, we wake up to headlines that read, NASA confirms alien reactor. In the other, astronomers quietly add another dot to the catalog of interstellar comets and move on. Whichever future arrives, it will hinge on measurements taken in the next hundred nights. Keep watching the skies, and keep watching this channel. We will update you the moment the data hits the servers. Until then, stay curious, stay skeptical, and let me know. Probe or Comet?